We took a long ride out here, an hour and a half, so. And then they told you what? That, that it's just closed temporary. She was on the phone. She didn't seem too friendly. Tonight, the state liquor authority is taking emergency action, suspending the license of Vineyard 48 in Kutchog. It can no longer sell alcohol, and none may be consumed on its premises. Right now, we have to dedicate two or three officers every weekend just to babysit that winery. And out of the 35 wineries we have on the North Fork in our township, um, it's the only winery that operates that way. The suspension, the result of a disturbing pattern of wrongdoing, says the SLA. Straining police resources, wreaking havoc on the community. Marion and Frank Wildenauer among the neighbors. We live out here, you know, and it's just the quality of life on the weekends becomes horrendous. Weekend gatherings with bands and uh, all kinds of the traffic is horrendous and the crowd, you can't, you can't even go in and taste a bottle of wine anymore. It was July of 2015 that a group of friends left popular Vineyard 48 in a limo. Adjacent to the busy winery, the limo driver made a U-turn and was T-boned by a pickup truck, killing four of the young women. Although no one has been charged criminally, since that unforgettable tragedy, families here have banded together pushing for safer roads and safer winery visits. Instead, they complain to the SLA that things have only gotten worse. Two patrons engaging in sexual acts in view of their backyard bordering Vineyard 48. 400 disorderly, heavily intoxicated patrons pushing, shoving, screaming obscenities. Bathroom lines 30 deep, patrons wandering off premises to urinate and defecate on properties of neighboring residents. The vineyard declined comment at this time. You need to leave, but you can have the lawyer's phone number if you need a comment. Southold police report 10 serious incidents here just since May involving fights, alcoholic overdoses, emergency treatment, buses and limos still making dangerous. U-turns. From Kutchog, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Vineyard 48's attorney predicts a quick court reversal. He says evidence will prove the allegations are exaggerated and not true, saying that Vineyard 48 has had a huge security detail keeping people safe.